Teddy Briggs fancies himself as a slick businessman. The reality TV contestant likes flash cars, private jets and swanning around with his shirt off. But the heat's on this cool cat who's being chased by a bunch of angry customers. They want to know where their money is. What's up, guys? I'm Teddy. I'm your newest Islander. Teddy Briggs loves the lens. I'm the type of dude to just go for it when I see it. But just look at the reality TV star now. Teddy, Steve Marshall, we're coming up here. No, no. Briggs may have chased 15 minutes of fame in the sun. You are seriously the dumbest person. <laughs> <laughs> but he can't cop the heat today. Mate, I'd like to talk to you about your business dealings. Because Teddy's trod on a few toes. Just give me my money back. Well, more than a few toes. I just think he's a manipulator. I just think he's scum. Whoa, that's hey, heavy. You're hard. You're a beautiful girl, like, inside and out. Like many wannabe celebs, Teddy Briggs used the reality TV limelight to commercialise his popularity. Get to know Teddy for what kind of person he is and then judge him not on, not on his first action. In this case, Nine's Love Island was the vehicle for Teddy's road to riches. If you want to start making an extra ten dollars to $15,000 every single month with e-commerce, E-commerce was Briggs's bag. His Ecom Connect company built online stores for clients to sell and ship products to buyers. What's up, guys? It's your boy Teddy. Another day in the life of an Ecom boy in Dubai. Briggs sold the dream to his tens of thousands of online followers and potential clients. Travelling the world. This was literally probably the most fun day I've had in Dubai. Private jets, chopper rides, supercars and dining at decadent restaurants. That night we went to Hakkasan, which is a Michelin star restaurant. With his model influencer girlfriend. Okay, I don't know what happened, but it's literally 5 p.m. and I'm just getting out of bed. Clients lusted after Teddy's lifestyle and Briggs promised to deliver. At Ecom Connect, we build the whole business for you, guaranteed to work, start making sales day one. But those guarantees rang as hollow as a used can of hairspray renting fancy sports cars and eating at some of the best restaurants and I and it's it makes me feel sick to the stomach. Yuri and her partner paid Briggs 10 grand to build their online store. It was abysmal. It had no currency converter, no terms and conditions, no shipping policy, no videos. The content that was in there had spelling and grammatical errors all throughout. Briggs even admitted their site wasn't up to scratch. Um, I do apologise, like, and I do agree with you. It's like was not to the standard that we obviously want to be like presenting. Or, like, but no you. refund was forthcoming. You know what you delivered was never going to do anything that you promised it would do. Just give me my money back. Give all of us our money back. Yuri's not alone. And who do you blame? Hey, hey Briggs. Briggs. Teddy Briggs's clients from around the country claim Ecom Connect overpromised and underdelivered. Love Island gave him that boost to to for people to believe him. You going online and promoting something that you can't deliver is obviously absolutely wrong. He sort of dropped off the face of the planet. He can talk the talk, but can he walk the walk to the bank and give us our money back? Most of this group of 46 clients asked Briggs for their money back. We asked again for a refund, so that was three individual emails, text messages that went unanswered, emails that went unanswered. He basically ghosted. With all this turbulence, Teddy Briggs has gone to ground, holed up here inside a swanky house on the Gold Coast. Briggs even took the unthinkable influencer step of shutting down his social media. And while we're on the scene, it's meal deliveries only. Teddy, Steve Marshall from Recurrent Affair. And I'd like to talk to you about your business dealings. Briggs's abrupt turn may well have been fine-tuned during his latest reality TV adventure, Amazing Race Celebrity Edition on Channel 10. Teddy's potential show winnings are set to go to the Beyond Blue Mental Health Organisation. 
but I think he's so arrogant and so lost in his own world that the effect that this is having on people just doesn't register. I'd like to talk to you about your business dealings, Teddy. Are you going to pay these people back? Perhaps there is some reality in reality TV after all. You're a liar already, Teddy. There was about as much love for Teddy on Love Island as there is on the mainland. I, I hope he's watching because I just think, sell your car, mate, and pay us back because we're hardworking people and I think it's just, it's wrong. I'm just gutted. With this place up for lease, it appears Teddy Briggs is on the move once again. According to neighbours, he and his girlfriend plan to leave Australia behind and make a fresh start in Europe. Stop doing it to other people. You're not earning this money. This is not your hard work that you're putting in that's earning this money, so just stop doing it. Are you going to pay these people back, Teddy? I think Teddy's a bit of a tosser myself. Um, normally, he does love the cabra, but it just seems not ours. He was last spotted, our Teddy, loading his belongings into a removalist truck.